Hello everyone, my name is Pacha and welcome back to another episode of Isle of the Wild. And we are continuing our yeah, builds for the Grassland Animal Pack. On today's list we have our fourth, is this fourth? I think fourth marsupial in the game, the red-necked wallaby. Is it the fourth? I think, yeah, we got the koala and the red kangaroo. Um, with the Australia pack, then we got the Wombat with the Twilight pack, and now we have the Rednecked Wallaby with the Grasslands Animal pack. And this also increases our roster of Australian animals. Uh, kind of wild if you think about it. When the game first launched, <laughs> we didn't have any Australian animal in the game, apart from I think the Saltwater Crocodile, um, if I'm not wrong. And now we kind of have not a big, huge roster, but uh, we have a couple animals now, and this is kind of nice. But yeah, we are building, as you can see, a walkthrough habitat today for the red necked wallaby. I think one of the most common things you will do when building for them. Uh, it kind of yeah uh, gives it away when you build for these little cute kangaroos that you do walk through habitat. I think everyone has one built one at this point. Uh, and I think also a lot of content creators have built one at this point. And a little bit of, of a um, yeah, specialty is that this walkthrough is very much inspired by uh, walkthrough, I think also wallaby uh, habitat uh, near in a small animal park I have here in my city where I live. Um, we have a small, very small animal park. I mentioned it in a couple of videos in the past, a very small animal park here, um, only a couple of species, but um, what it lacks in amount and space um, of species, we uh, it uh, yeah definitely makes up for in variety of species because we have a lot of uh, rather unique species for such a small park. Um, for example, as I said, we have the uh, red neck wallaby there. We also have dingoes. Um, we have capybaras and maras, so pampas hares. Um, we have porcupines, prairie dogs, and meerkats. So we have a lot of animals that are, mm, yeah, maybe they are on the smaller side, but I, some that I wouldn't think about when I think a yeah, small animal park on in a small city. Um, but yeah, one of them is the walkthrough wallaby exhibit and this is what we are building today uh, yeah i got very much inspired by that one because it's yeah the most i i'm the one i'm mostly know um especially what we will do later the indoor area the yeah, night quarter area is almost a one-to-one -one replica of the one we have here uh because I've, uh, i just just thought it fits very much and very well into that area and also in our how old theme of um, a little bit modern but also very much um, yeah, env env environmentally um, cautious with all the green roofs and such. This one doesn't, ha doesn't have a green roof but it's still a lot of nat natural uh, materials and such. You will see that in the end. But yeah, um, as you might remember, also another topic, as you might remember in last time we built here when we were building the Caracal uh, video, uh, Caracal habitat. If you haven't seen that, uh, you can find it all on my channel, uh, all the videos. And the last time we were here, we built a Caracal habitat. And then I said that the plans are uh, is to be that we will have the emu here. And also I kind of said that we try to have the emu together with the wallaby and this was the f first initial plan to have this as a shared exhibit between these two um but then i kind of noticed and i think this is pretty clear that um it's not a very much good idea to have an emu in a walkthrough habitat um they are not overly aggressive towards humans but uh, still aggressive enough in a, in a in a kind of sense that uh, you wouldn't do a walk for habitat uh, with them. Um, especially if your fences, as you can say here, and your doors are not that uh, tall. Um, I think it's even, yeah, it's it's hard. Uh, no, I don't know if it would be realistic to have such uh, lower fences 
for wallabies, but it is what our, what our little animal park has, and I went with that, and I never heard of an ex escape there. But, um, yeah, <laughs> I know, um, the idea with the emu was a good idea <laughs> first, um, but then I, I decided against it, uh, especially I would have to build an, a whole separate building for them uh, to keep them uh, during yeah, night time, and it, was, it didn't fit. So I don't know if I will fe still feature the emu in this zoo in uh, Isle of the Wild or if we will scrap it all together. Uh, depends on how much space I need for the next animal here, which will be the striped hyena. So uh, look out for that. Um, and then uh, it depends on how much space we have left because we are getting uh, pretty close now to, um, to, com to using all the space here. Uh, especially wallaby habitat took a huge chunk of of land mass away uh, more than I uh, yeah thought in the beginning. Um, so for now, I would say we have to see. We have to see, and then um, yeah, maybe the emu will come. Maybe the, I will keep the emu for your future project. Um, I at one point I definitely want to build for the emu, and yeah. But yeah, we, as, as, as you see right now, we are building the indoor area, and you see there is a, vi a window there from the viewing area, uh, from the yeah, uh, guest path. Uh, it's the same way in the original, so in my inspiration on the real drive one, you can watch inside the kangaroo in, uh, backstage area, uh, indoor area, which is why I got such a good uh, yeah. I could really see how it's done there. It's really simple. Uh, it's just a big indoor room where they can sleep at night or doing bad weather. And not much backstage there. Um, very simple ca kept. Um, I don't know where they have the whole backstage for all the animals. I think they have will have a, a dedicated section for that somewhere else in the animal par in the park. Um, but it's very simple as you will see. Um, I think in the original they don't even have a dedicated door. For the uh, kangaroos, they kangaroos just go in through the, a normal, yeah, normal human door, a human-sized door. They go in. Um, of course, in the game, this is not possible. Even with the best hitbox, this wouldn't be possible. Um, so, we ha I had to add this uh, this animal sliding door. They are very simple one. Nothing much done there, but uh, it does the trick, and that is. Okay, then we, of course we have this divider in the middle, which was very interesting for me. Uh, also, it is also in the original, um, and you will later see uh, this is where some of the food storage, food holding is attached to. I don't know if this is the only purpose why this is in there, or it is if it's also to have a visual break uh, if there are two kangaroo, two kangaroo, two wallabies that don't get along with each other, is so that they can have a visual break from each other. Uh, and they, that they don't fight, um, or if it's just to yeah, um, mount the feeding areas to a wall. Uh, if this is, would be the only reason, they could also do uh, mount them to the back wall. But uh, I'm not an expert on that. Maybe someone in the comments knows why you would have a concrete uh, divider in the middle of the, uh, of the sleeping area. But yeah. Um, you also have mostly noticed that uh, the video last week wasn't a build video, it was um, uh, yeah, top 10. No, it was a tier list video of my of all the animals and which one I like the most and which one I don't like. Uh, you saw the video. If not, uh, keep it a watch. Uh, grab, some f grab yourself something to drink, something to snack. And it's, it's a little bit of a longer one, but it's definitely worth a watch, I think. Um, and the reason I did that video was because I wasn't ready with this video. Uh, now you're looking at the time of the video and you think, huh, it's not as long as the Caracal one and still he needed more time. <laughs> Why is that? Um, two reasons, of course. One is that I still have university exams to do um, while, we are while I'm recording that. Um, I still have one ex university exam of writing a, a, a paper, a scientific paper. Um, I think it was uh, is around 20 to 25 pages long that I have to write until the end of the month. So I'm a little bit in, uh, uh, yeah, in a stressy situation at the moment, a stressful situation. Um, so uh, yeah, but I wanted to uh, get a video out for you guys and don't let you wait any longer. So that is why we are here. Um, but the other reason was that I started playing another game, a new game. 
um, which I will also continue to play. And I think many people already know this uh, that watch my channel or that are in my Discord group. Um, the link to that is in the description. I started playing uh, Hogwarts Legacy. Um, as I think many people do now, uh, at least I can see my friends list, uh, constantly people playing this game. And I don't want to talk about the whole controversy with J.K. Rowling. Um, she, for me, she isn't a nice person. Um, I don't agree with anything that, that she, uh, yeah, that she, she, that she shouts in out, out in the world. Um, uh, her opinions on some things, uh, on some matters, are just plain out wrong. But I'm still a huge, um, I'm still a huge Harry Potter fan. I love the world that she created. Uh, I learned to read with these books when I was uh, a small child. Um, I watched all the movies. I have all the materials. I have some Lego, uh, yeah, Harry Potter Lego. So I'm, yeah, I'm just a big Harry Potter nerd. And then this game, uh, which is just yeah, I don't know, pure fandom, um, I had to play it regardless of the whole controversy and as I said, I won't go too deep into that because I already talked about, if you want to know my whole opinion, that uh, watch the last stream on Twitch, um, I yeah, spoke uh, very much, uh, spoke in great detail about that there. But uh, yeah, I just want to say um, if some videos <laughs> can uh, appear a little bit delayed or anything, I have, have again to make a different video because the speed build video will be a little bit delayed and it's mostly because of that reason um, that I'm yeah, enjoying this game and I'm really enjoying it and I think this is the most important thing that you enjoy something uh, regardless of what controversy around it. Um, especially if it has nothing to do with the game itself and only with the creator. But yeah, um, this I think I've one I think I wanted to uh, say. If, as I said, if you wanted to discuss the matter, feel free to do so um, in the comments, but do it in yeah a reasonable and nice way. Don't yeah, don't insult anyone. Don't uh, start huge arguments in the comments if you want to discuss it. Um, otherwise, I yeah I make use of that I can delete comments if I need to. Mine, it's not a threat. I just want to say. Stay nice. Be be a nice person. Uh, we all want to have a better world, and why not be the one who starts creating or helping to create this world? Um, yeah. Anyway, I will leave you now to the rest of the video, which will be mostly, I think, mostly just planting as usual. Um, planting is always the last step for me, which yeah cr brings the whole build together. So I will leave you to the rest of the video now. And I will see you in the end time part, in the real time part, where we look at the finished product. Enjoy the music. And yeah, I see you in the end. Until then, have a lot of fun.
And here we are now in the real time part and we are standing in front of the leopard enclosure. Still one of my favorite uh, that I ever did and I still love it. But we are not here to talk about the leopards. We are here to talk about the wallabies. Yeah, this is... Ah, these apes, <laughs> these monkeys. This is one of the two entrances to the walk-in wallaby exhibit that goes all the way around there. Uh, but we are, of course, take the scenic route. And if we go through here, we have all this lovely space that we can already see one lying. There's another one. Ah, didn't even see that. And then you can either go this way, go around here. I, I like how it turned out with all the grass and you can still get a little bit of nice view into the leopard enclosure here. Uh, you can go this way. We have this small little feeder here that is actually also usable by them. Uh, as I said, this is also the same that they have in the yeah, in the real example of this one. And hello, you are so cute. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm I'm going for yeah, no, okay. I'll go. <laughs> but yeah, I still love it. We have the kangaroos and the wombats here in the back. And if you go there, you come of course to the same path that we went before. Hello. And you can also take a look inside into their indoor area. I decided to add some decals afterwards after the recording to the yeah to the indoor area to make it a little bit more seems as it is as use and it's a little bit more older maybe as we have some cracks here, some stuff from the ceiling came all the way down. We have a lot of dirt on the walls. So to make it a little more, it uh, seems as if, as if it's lived in. And hello, there is. So it is usable. They can even go to the backstage and they start sleeping here. We can turn on the lights here. We can open and close the door there. Yeah, yeah we are a small one. <laughs> uh, there's the keeper entrance. I still have to make that one pretty. Um, but this is still a work in progress as, yeah, depending on where the hyenas go into. Um, but if we, oh, hello. <laughs> if you go into here, we come outside of this area. So this is the end of the area where also our wombats are, our koalas are. Uh, so we are go, we are going full circle around here, just inside. And I really like how it turned out. Uh, I don't know why this is not getting shipped away uh, i have to look into that but yeah i really like how it turned out um it feels not that big but it's, it's actually quite uh, a lot of space uh if we look from it above it is it takes quite a lot of space actually um more than it seems on the ground but i think it was very worth it and yeah if you liked um, my build here and if you like what we did in this video maybe consider giving this video a like and if you haven't already maybe also consider subscribing to the channel uh, can only help me grow and give you more give you guys more and more awesome videos in the future and it doesn't cost you anything so maybe consider that and yeah until then until next week i wish you all a great day and a great day great weekend maybe even stay safe yeah, stay friendly, stay nice to each other and have a great time. Bye bye everyone.